Hey guys, welcome back. For today's look, I will be using the Naked 3 palette. This palette has more of the rose gold shades. To start off this look, I will be putting the shade Lunar in my crease. And this will become my blending shade. Remember that always to blend, 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 blend until your hand falls off because blending is key. Okay, so not really until your hand falls off, but remember that blending is key. Especially when you don't want to see those harsh lines in your eyeshadows or your blush or bronzer. I'm grabbing that lighter shade to highlight my tear duct and look a little bit more awake. Also, I will be putting it under my brow, on my brow bone, just to highlight that area and give a lift effect. As you can tell, I don't do my eyebrows. The only thing I do is I just fill them in. So by putting this lighter shade, it will help it look a little bit more neat and done. Now I will be grabbing that um, pink rose uh, color. And I didn't like how it looked on when I put it on dry. So I did grab the e.l.f. mist set and I sprayed my brush and then dipped it back into the shadow and you can see it's a little bit more vibrant now. So I will be going in with a darker shade and it's more of a darker glitter shade just to give a little bit more depth and dimension. I did grab that darker eyeshadow so I can put it on my outer corner and do a smoky eye effect. So this is when blending is important. You do not want to have any harsh lines on your eyeshadows. You want everything to blend perfectly. You see the difference? Now also, if you can tell, I have quite a bit of fallout from that shimmering eyeshadow, which what I will do next is just brush it off with a, just a clean brush. Before I started applying any um, eyeshadow on, I did have a BB cream and my brows just filled in. So instead of using black eyeliner, I decided to use the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk just to line my eyes and for me to look a little bit more awake and give the effect of bigger eyes. I grabbed a darker eyeshadow so I can smudge it on my lower lash line. And what I will be doing next is I will be grabbing the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and I will be using the bronzer to bronze part of my forehead and under my cheekbone. So now what I will be doing is I will be grabbing the darker bronzer color and I will be putting it under my cheekbones just to give it a little bit more depth and dimension. 
and of course make sure to blend and that's what I will be doing now so I decided to go back to my Kat Von D shade and light palette and grab more of a highlight shade to just highlight under my cheekbones What I will do next is grab a clean brush and make sure I blend everything out. After I finish blending, I will grab my Naked Flushed palette and this has all in one. It has a bronzer, blush, and highlight. I will start off with the blush. After you apply your blush, remember to blend it with the rest of your makeup. I know I have said blend a thousand times, but remember, blending is key. I will now grab a clean brush and I will highlight my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, and the cupid's bow. going in with my Marc Jacobs lip liner to use it more as a base color. After that, I will grab a darker lipstick and apply it to the outer corner of my lips and blend it inwards towards the middle. Now I am curling my lashes and prepping to put on my falsies. And we're all done. Yay!